All right, how y'all doing? I just want to quick, quickly check in again. I try to share side pieces of advice, things that, that I've experienced that I know are applicable to the majority. So I don't say, I wish one time that I, I didn't um, hit somebody because I was drunk, uh, etc. I don't say shit like that because that's not going to be the majority that watch this. The majority that watch this go, I'm socially uncomfortable or I've done this. I'm in the relationship I like, I'm closing business deals, I'm doing work out, but every time I wake up I feel like shit, I'm, I have no energy, this is what I eat, this is what I do. You can break that down and you can say, well you need to change your diet here, how do you respond to these foods, how's your hydration, what is your lifestyle? Whenever you can do that, there's, there's, there's actual concrete grip that you can put on things to change someone's life experience and better them. This is where I can come in. This is where I can share advice. This is why I come back to previous mistakes and I go, this is what I shouldn't have done. This is what I should have done. Hopefully it can help. This is what I see works with other people. You can try that and it more than likely will help because anybody can say, try this new thing. Nobody else has done it, but it might, it might not work. But if for 99% of people drinking a high amount of water throughout the day helps them, then more than likely it's going to help you. And then everything else is just variations. You might be one of the, 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 the lower portion who don't need as much water. Or you might be something very different where you need more water than the majority. In life, I've experienced the, the, one of the most important things is your social structure. It doesn't matter where you are in life. What does matter is when, when and where you communicate and how often you communicate. It is, this is where I notice the biggest change in my life. As anyone, we all deal with different things. We all go through whatever it is you go through. This is not a story. This is a lesson. What had happened was I went from standard life, everything, whatever. And my, whenever I kept progressing with life, and I've always noticed things function best whenever you go all out with a variety of things. But seeing if you go all out with only a couple of things or one thing it can sort of tighten the the amount of experience you have in life. And therefore, anything that doesn't constantly get trained, blunts, it's not sharp. You want yourself to be sharp in every environment, every situation. And that's where I've noticed the best, the best benefits. I went from massive amount of years, my life was just around packs of gorillas. Just, just every communication I was having was with some form of a gorilla. So whenever I'm communicating with people like that, and it is phenomenal, and don't get me wrong, because see whenever you're constantly going into situations and it's constantly gorillas, you have a presence about you, you have a focus about you, you have a strength about you that, that, that gets, it's, it's, it's the, the muscle that gets grown. If you're constantly around people who are comfortable with conflict, who are focused, who are driven, then that helps you stay focused, driven and comfortable. But you also have to have the flip side. Because there's guys out there who live like that and they don't get many girls. And they don't have that balance where it's whenever you're around a bunch of alpha males, a bunch of gorillas, a bunch of focused people. But there's no other side. There's no calm down. There's no actual, the, the flip side of that. Because the flip side, it's, it's the guy that um, goes out all the time, aggressive and has the experience. But he doesn't come home with a chick. That's a big problem. And, and the more that life goes on and you have that unbalanced scale, then you get people who are not as effective and vibrant that they should be. This is where the balance comes in. And this is where I noticed life hit me hard. I went from the, the most balanced variety to just all out focus, grit, determination. And then later on, after I said, what's going to make the difference continuously? It's been, you got to keep moving through social environments. It's you. Always have that core group of friends. Always have your core group of gorillas. But outside of that, you've got to keep seeing new people. You've got to find out what the new buzz is. you got to go around. The, don't go around the person who did it well once. You go around all the new stuff. The only way to stay sharp with businesses is to be around those businesses. Don't look them up on the internet. That helps. But you don't just look them up on the internet. You need to go around. You need to go inside the business. You need to meet the people. Because as you start bouncing around all these different people, and then you realize where the majority of the thinking's going, where the majority of the trends are going. And that's what I missed out on. So if you want to know where, where the real benefit comes in, it's whenever you move from different social environments. 
If your if your lifestyle goes from the gym, from the gym to the workplace, from the workplace back to a different martial art, from the martial art around your core group of friends, then you go out, experience, have fun, meet new people, and then you repeat a cycle like that. You have all these different things going that you're able to stay focused, stay efficient, enjoy life, and go in the direction you want to go in. But if you if you go down to the extent that you only focus on one thing, and again, it's good to have focus on one thing, but you need to have the variety outside of it. Because 24 hours over and over again focused on one thing, you lose your sharpness that you once had outside of that. That's where the difference is.